Hello, this is Ms. Moreno, and this is for the past six, chapter 1.1. The chapter is called Technology is Used to Explore the Earth System. So this is about systems. So the first part might be a little bit confusing. It's about, it talks about a closed system. So a closed system, you can take, for example, an aluminum can. An aluminum can comes from metal, right? So from metal to an aluminum can, then we re if, if we recycle this aluminum can, it can become metal again. That is a closed system. It means that this can be repeated over and over again. And in the, in the book, they make the example of the Earth being a closed system where all the dirt and the atmosphere, nothing goes in, nothing comes out. It's all inside. That is a closed system. We want closed systems because that means you can use things over and over again. However, this is called an open system. This is the opposite open system. An open system, using the same example, is metal, then you make it into a can, then you throw the can into the trash can. And here's the sad face because then you cannot use that can again. So that, that's the difference between an open system and a closed system. A closed system is like a cycle, keeps going over and over again. An open system goes once and it finishes. The second part of the section was about spheres, different spheres. If you see my illustration here, circle, this time it's a ball, that's why it's shiny. A 3D, three dimension circle is called a sphere. Think of a ball. It's not just a circle in the front, it's a circle in all sides. So one of the spheres we talked about is the atmosphere. This is just a flat picture, but the Earth is a sphere. So the little thin layer on the top surface is called the atmosphere, but it's also called air. And what does air mean? Air does not mean just oxygen. Air is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other stuff like vapor or CO2, carbon dioxide, or O3, which we call ozone. So there are many other things in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is this thin layer of air that surrounds our Earth and it helps us live. The hydrosphere is oceans, lakes, rivers, everything with water that is in, on our earth. This is, this is also a closed system. Water does not leave the earth. Water does not come into the earth. Water is just there. The land part is called the geosphere. The geosphere includes pretty much everything, including the inside part. So we can call this the Geosphere. When they're talking about the geosphere, they're talking about everything. Usually they're talking about the inside of the Earth. And there's a good picture on page 12 that explains about that. And the last sphere is the biosphere. The word bio means life. So this is everything in the Earth that makes that are the has things that are alive like animals bacteria birds in the sky humans sea animals even things that live underground plants everything that's alive is part of the biosphere and the important thing to know is that all of these systems are closed systems within our earth everything that is made stays within the earth it does not leave the earth it does not disappear it's just all within the earth.